All right, guys, I got Samson Dowdy here from the UK. He's here. I got Paul Lowe's on here, who's always here. And uh, we're having breakfast. So I'm going to make them breakfast today. Everybody's got a specific taste. So as the cook, I have to make them all their own specific version of oats and eggs, uh, which is unfortunate because I'm lazy and I don't want to cook. But that's what we're doing today. So this is breakfast for bodybuilding. All right, so we're gonna start with the oats. Paul is very particular, so he likes his oats cooked on the stove. Old man style. Old man style, that's right. <laughs> so we're gonna do a cup and a half of water. Cup and a half of water. We'll bring that to a boil. And then Samson, because he's doing how many? 150 grams of oats. Samson's doing 150 grams of oats. Give him the big bowl. All right, so. Hundred and fifty grams of oats for Samson. And because it's 150 grams of oats, it is not that great to eat because it ends up being like this massive bowl. So Samson blends up his oats. Have you done that for a long time? Yeah, I've been doing that for like uh, two years now. Actually, it's been longer than that, actually. It's been like two yeah. years now, actually. And you don't like cream of rice. We were talking about this earlier. No? No. I'm, Sam I'm a little bit fan of cream of rice, man. Samson doesn't like uh, sweet stuff for breakfast, so he likes the oats because it's more savory. No, it's not that I don't like sweet stuff for breakfast. I just don't prefer it. So that's why you don't like cream of rice, because you don't want to put like... Especially like, look how much the oats are, look how much, how much money it is. I, I get very, like, when it's sweet, I just, it just yeah, yeah, yeah. quickly, so yeah. when it's bland, I can just knock it out. But and plus you're blending it, so yeah. you can't really blend cream of rice, because it still gets that sandy, like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so how much water do you normally put? Uh, basically, how, how much liquid you have on it. So that's what I'm saying, so yeah. what do we... So tell, like, like a shake. So tell me when to stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. You go on, you go on, you go on, you go on. Alright, that's what it looks like. Okay. Do that. Not you you don't put anything in it? Scoop it scoop away isolate. Scoop away isolate. Let me. Paul, when was the last time I made you breakfast? Um it's been a long time. Alright. Um we've gone over breakfast several times. Yes. Alright, scoop of ISO H1 for flavor and for more protein. And Paul has oatmeal. And a packet of sweetener, please. You put the packet of sweetener while it's cooking? Yeah, I do actually. And I put a little bit of cinnamon powder if you have it. Yes, I do. All right, so a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, that's a lot of cinnamon. That's okay. I like cinnamon. It helps my blood sugar. One packet of sweetener? Yes, please. All right. So we reduce that to a simmer. Stir it up a bit and just let it... And then I cover it usually for it. Let it kind of cook through. Paul wants me to cover it. So it, it soaks up the water. There's nothing worse than a backseat driver. Sorry, I'll let you cook it the way you, the way you want. Here. I don't know if I even know if I have a lid for that one, so we'll cover it like that. Okay, if that's already done. I gotta do mine. So I'm gonna microwave mine. So I'm gonna do 60 grams. Because as most of you know, I am trying to lose weight. I don't really measure my water, I just... That's usually what it looks like. And then in the microwave... Come over. This is the secret number, okay? Perfect oats. I can't tell you. Oh. A minute and a half. <laughs> 90 seconds. No, it's 333. Really? That long? 
I, somebody told me once a long time ago that you actually waste time putting like one minute and 60 seconds or whatever, one minute and 30. So he's like, just put the same number. You save time. It's like, okay. So what do you save? A split it's, second? It's, it's huh? three, three times. Like three, three, three. You save a split second. Faster than... Uh, <laughs> save two seconds. I guess if every second matters. <laughs> when you're busy, Paul. Yeah. All right. It adds up. All right. All right. What are we training today, Samson? I'm going back session today. Who's going to leave? <laughs> well, I was known for my back, Samson. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Paul, you're going to have how many eggs? Um, as many as I want. Or? Yeah. I'll have, we're going to trade soon. I'll have four. Four eggs. All right. All right. So we're going to make some scrambled eggs. And I know you guys watching are probably like, why don't you scramble them before you threw them in the pan? Me and Samson agree that it's just a waste of time and a waste of a bowl. Paul, do you scramble them before you put them in the pan? If I make them for the whole family, yeah. I want them like a little fancier with some chopped peppers and stuff in it, then I do that. But if not, if it's just me, no. All right. So you're like us then? Yeah. So that's five for Samson. Let me go four more for Paul. Yeah. So as bodybuilders, we're just trying to save as much time and effort as possible so we don't want to dirty a bowl and we don't want to waste time mixing we just crack it right into the pan and we'll blend it there oh and two for myself so i'm making mine separate because i'm only doing two whole eggs and i'm doing egg whites with them All right. Put that down a bit. All right, so this is it. No need for a bowl. No need to scramble your shit. Just mix it up right in the pan. Keep it simple. Get that stirred up a bit. Gonna add my egg whites. I don't bother trying to split eggs. Just go grab a carton. This carton has eight egg whites in it, 25 grams of protein. It's just easier. There's no point in uh, wasting time trying to split eggs and throwing away yolks and all that shit. My oatmeal is finished. That's what it looks like. Three minutes and 33 seconds. It's perfect timing. You see how much that is? Yeah. But I don't eat, that's not a lot. It would be a lot if I had 150 yeah, exactly. grams, yeah. yeah. Samson's oatmeal and protein. Here, you can have the rest. Totally making a mess. My wife's gonna fucking kill me. I just she just cleaned the whole stove and shit. Same time, do you do all the cleaning in your house or your wife does? Um, she used to do all of it. Now we share it. Why? So oh, when you used. I, I could probably say that now. So when you used to when you used to work full time, she did everything. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. <laughs> so guys, when you're, when you're making your food, measure everything, figure out the macros. If you don't know what website to go to, it's simple. It's on the box. Okay. Don't just eat whatever the fuck you feel like. Don't eat when you're hungry. Don't eat. Don't not eat when you're full. Get yourself on a fucking schedule. Figure out what you need to eat. Figure out your macros. Watch my last YouTube video on the whiteboard, it'll tell you exactly what you need to eat and how much, how to calculate your macros. Once you figure that out, put it into a plan and make sure you're doing it every single day. 
don't just go by, oh, I'm hungry today, I'm gonna eat more, or I'm not that hungry today, I'm gonna eat less. Don't do that shit. You're never gonna get anywhere with that kind of, with that kind of plan. It won't get you to where you wanna be. Samson, how, how planned out are your meals every day? Everything planned out, right? Everything down to the last gram of fat, grass gram of, yeah. How many times have you looked at a meal and thought to yourself, I don't want to fucking eat this? <laughs> yeah, see, that's one of the... Th when we say, so people confuse what I, when I'm speaking and I say, eat big to get big. People think it means go get a fucking pizza and eat, be like slob. That's not what I mean. When I say eat big to get big, I mean find foods that work for you. That's your point. Oh, that's, sorry, guys. Thank you. Figure out what you need. There's salt and pepper there, guys. Uh, that's okay. Figure out what you need to eat, and then make sure you're eating an abundance of it. Do you need ketchup, Paul? Uh, no, I don't. Just a fork, please. Just a fork? Thank you. So, I just want you guys to understand that eat big, get big isn't a fucking code for go be a fat slob and, and bulk and eat whatever you want. When I say bulk, when I say bulk, I'm talking about clean foods that can get you big and grow. Like Samson, like he said, sat down numerous times. And me and my own career have sat down numerous times and thought to myself, I don't want to eat. But you got to get it in because it's the only way. And the flip side is true also. There are times where you're going to be extra hungry and you want to eat more. And usually it's going to be during a diet. You're not going to usually feel that way in the off season if your plan's set up properly. But then you got to avoid that too. So... You're always going to be in this struggle in bodybuilding between I'm stuffed and I don't want to eat or I'm starving and I want to eat everything. It's not often that you just, you're just happy. There's always, right? Like Samson, how do you feel? Is it always like a... No, it depends on which one of the extreme or the other. Yeah, you're not just like... You're never satisfied. Yeah. You know, too much food or not enough food. That's right. I think I can remember a period where you just kind of like, yeah, I'm good. I always say that like the best time, and Paul, Paul and Samson, you guys probably experienced this also. The best time is like between like 10 and four weeks yeah. when you're dieting, right? Yeah. Because you have like, Grace you, you, you're like eating enough food that you feel comfortable, but you're not starving yet. So you're yeah. still like, the yeah. last four weeks is the worst. In the last four weeks, you're dying. That's when you suffer. Yeah. If you're going to get really lean. Yeah. Uh, water. Mm, thank you. We got a couple glasses for you guys. It's good, right? Is it? Good, right? Just it. But good, I know, but it's good consistency. Like you cooked cook them right. Thank you. There's, there's, right. A, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love in. Go ahead, Tim. There's a lot of love in my cooking, Paul. You are. You're always been a good cook, too. I'll give you that. <clears throat> I got it from my mama. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm not good at cooking oats on the stove because these things are still... How long do they normally take? Thank you. Want me to take a look? Yeah, how long do they okay. normally take? Uh, come over, long, come, come not over not and show us your expertise. Paul. Especially when See, there I always, is a cover on it. I do my oats on the, in the microwave. It's just simple. Do you put protein powder in here? No, that's a cinnamon. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I put a lot of cinnamon. They're just well done. You can turn it off now. I'll just leave them covered for a couple minutes. And then they'll minutes. just thicken? Yeah. Okay. So turn it off. So this is what it looks like when it's, Paul says it's done. And then you just turn it off and let, then let it, it'll soak up. Mm -hmm. Just cover it up. All right. So shovel over that salt for me. <clears throat> so my eggs are finished. I over, overcooked them a little bit. Some salt. And if you guys aren't salting your foods, I get messages from people all the time. Uh, I can't get a great pump or my pump goes away real fast or... I don't get really like the full muscle feeling. Add salt to your food, okay? You have, to, you have to get the sodium in. Don't be scared to add sodium. What you don't want is fluctuation. So you don't wanna have like a ton of sodium one day and then have no sodium the next day. That's why we're, like, when, you get it, when you eat a pizza or something like that, that's why you get that like full water retention look because there's a ton of sodium in pizza and then the next day you're not eating all that sodium. So you get this fluctuation. And that's also why it's bad for your blood pressure. So if you wanna keep your blood pressure in check, and you want to keep uh, the water retention down, keep that sodium level pretty constant. Uh, my oats, 
I do use usually a little bit of blueberries, frozen blueberries, because it the frozen blueberries will cool off the oatmeal. So I don't have to wait for it to cool down to eat. Do you want old blueberries in yours? Yes, please. Yeah. You get a smaller bowl. Well, we'll just use that bowl. That's two thirds cup. Looks like a lot. Sorry? Looks like a lot. That doesn't look like a lot. What's wrong with you guys? Are you seriously like that? Like I'll eat it. It doesn't look like a lot. Maybe because I use the smaller flakes. Oats. I think Paul's out of eating. Out of eating uh, his eating routine. I haven't actually had oatmeal in a little while in the morning. Why did you edit that? Just because Samson's doing it? I thought we're, I thought so we're having oh, you're like having oats. Oh, I could have made you some toast. Oh, no, that's fine. I don't mind oats. Oh, okay. I do have them. I just haven't had them lately. Okay. Thank you. So I got blueberries, uh, a little bit of natural peanut butter. Perfect bread. Is it? Yeah. And two packets of Splenda. I have these extra long forks. They're yeah. my mom gave them to me. They're special. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, these are awesome spoons. Great, because you put them in the like the big bowl, and you can get to the bottom. Yeah, your mom gave you these. Yeah, my mom gave me That's those. Awesome. I gotta buy some of these. I stole one from her, and then I told her I loved it. It was my favorite spoon, so she gave me like a dozen of them. Where are they from? Do you know? Like the dollar store, I think. Really? Yeah. So I'm not really, I'm pretty liberal with my peanut butter. So you guys are going to love this. This is one teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's supposed to be a tablespoon. So I just do a heaping teaspoon and call it a day. Listen, honestly, guys. So I'm fucking around a little bit. When I was not retired, that peanut butter was measured. I usually put it on the scale and take it from there. But because I'm retired now, I kind of like, if I want a little bit of extra peanut butter, I have a little bit of extra peanut butter. So this is what my oats look like. So you can kind of see the difference. So I just want to show this real quick. Let me have your bowl. Mm -hmm. So I don't, do you think I cooked these right? That's the way I have them. Okay, so this is how Paul has them. You can see this looks really, really good. It's actually like perfect, actually. I might start cooking mine on the oven. It's like porridge. Yeah, it's really nice, right? Samson blends his, so it's just in his shake, it's gone. And then mine are in the, I, I didn't put as much water in mine. So you see mine, it's a little bit clumpier. So this is kind of like three different versions of oatmeal. A microwave, stove, and just blend it up and finished, right? And we did some scrambled eggs, and I'm gonna eat now because I'm starving. And the next time you guys see us, in the next video, we will be at the gym crushing some back. I'm gonna, See if I can keep up with Big Samson over here. So, we'll catch you guys in the next one.